What's good, man? Y'all back to see your boy. You get what I'm saying? Uh, all my people on TikTok, all my people on Instagram, don't forget to hit that follow button. All my people on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. But I seen the clip that went all over the internet and people was discussing it and talking about it, right? The Dame Dash and 50 Cent situation. You know, I, I respect Dame to the fullest and I respect 50 to the fullest. You know what I mean? I know it's a little small animosity thing that's in between the mix of it all. And I think it all stemmed from the Jay-Z thing when 50 was doing... When, I think Jay said, uh, he said a line on the stage towards 50 and... um. I think it was like some back and forth records or something like that, or mentions on the record. And I think the energy of why Dane probably said the million dollars wasn't nothing. I, I, if I was coming from the, the perspective of Dane, Dane probably was saying multiple millions that was just going out quick. You know what I mean? Because all the things that they had to do and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So when he went 50, get the, the million from, you know, Dre and, and M, he looking at that like, that ain't nothing, man. How you gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? What's that, what's that really? You know what I'm saying? But you gotta think, I think, um, I'm trying to think, did 50 go diamond? 50 had a crazy, crazy first album. That that Get Rich or Die Trying first album, man, that, that, that success on that album, man, changed everything for him, you know what I'm saying? Because he really, he really picked up a big win, and, and you know, thanks to, you know what I mean, the most high end, thanks to the end for the opportunity, you know what I mean? Because... God wanted the man to be here, getting hit nine times and, and coming back and having a rap career, not just having a rap career, having, you know what I mean, one of the best rap albums to be put out, you know what I'm saying, and having that success and being able to lean on it for so many years and to be able to go into multiple avenues. And 50 was saying that that, that Dane Dash is broke. I think <laughs> it, it'd be equivalent. I'm not comparing Dane to Michael Jackson, but it was back in the days where people kept saying Michael Jackson was broke. Their broke is not the same as a person that can't pay their bills or car notes and things of that nature, man. We're a different type of broke, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I just think when you're in a, a certain level of success, like if you was to compare Dane to like a Tyler Perry or Jay, you might look at it from that perspective. But it, yeah, that was that was a low blow from Fifth, man. I was, <laughs> that was wild, but it was it's from his comments from back in the days. And like I said before, I feel like that Rockefeller had a tension against the G-Unit situation. Especially with that, with that Ja Rule and Irv God, all that relationship that they had back in the days, with Dame and them being cool and stuff like that over the, um, back in the days, it probably was a thing where it was like nobody was rocking with Fifty at that point in time. You know what I'm saying? So now that everybody outgrew that that era and stage in life, you know what I mean? I just feel like this, man. Fifty hold grudges, man. That, that, that's all I gotta say. Fifty holds some grudges for a long time. You know what I mean? And um, they call the man broke and this and that. It's crazy, man. Crazy work, G. Yeah, yeah, man I, was, I seen that clip man i was like damn why they doing my man dang crazy doing my man dang dirty like that man but dang was an aggressive personality man he really whatever he felt and whatever he expressed he put a lot of passion behind it. you know what i mean no different from like a two-part it was a lot of passion behind two-part words when he spoke he really believed in what he believed in and i think that's the reason why so many people love to see dang fall Love to, to see Dame in a position of losing power or losing, you know what I mean, that energy. You know, I don't believe he lost his faith in believing in the things he's creating, his own networks and things of that nature and putting it together, the movies and stuff. Dame have a legacy, you know what I'm saying? And um, I respect Dame, man. He helped a lot of people make millions. He helped guys get to the billionaire mark. Multiple guys became billionaires after working with Dame. Dame could do anything he wanted to do with his resume <laughs> alone is is stamp i ain't even gonna say stamp and gold i'm gonna say stamp and platinum gold whatever expensive jewelry piece you can think of dame has has put people in position to be entrepreneurs and be leaders you know what i mean uh i feel like dame mentorship 
with the guys that he worked with was so powerful that look at the impact you know what i'm saying is it's like we can never really say bad things about dame like that you know what i mean that i never came in counter to the guy but at the end of the day he really helped a lot it's like the same thing they do the bird man like oh bird ain't give me this money but all y'all are rich multi-millionaires multiple deals commercials all of this it's like it came from the branch of bird man it came from the branch of dame dash we got to get credit where it's at, man. But like I say, with the 50 thing, I just think it was what he said because I feel like Dane's relationship with Jay, Dane's relationship with Irv and Ja and all them guys, I feel like it was tension there that probably people wasn't speaking out about, but I feel like Dane carried that as them being his guys. And I think he, <laughs> when he said that, it's actually his experience too. Like he probably came across multiple millions and it was just going quick. But you got to think 50 coming from the, you know what I mean, the trenches, you know what I mean? He looking at this like he hit the lottery. Like, it, man, it's only popping from now on. You know what I mean? I'm about to make this work. But a guy like Dame at that particular time when he was in the money and the money was rolling like crazy and he having success, he looking at that like, man, that ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? The ego. You know what I mean? The success. The glory. You know what I mean? The victory. I won the Super Bowl already. Type of mentality. And that's how he looking at it. You know what I mean? 50 Cent was the Patrick Mahomes when nobody believed that he was going to be great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's that, it's that moment when nobody thinks that the 50 Cent going to be great. He's Patrick Mahomes. You know what I mean? Dane Dash is more like a, a Peyton Manny or somebody. You feel me? Like I say, uh, that's just how I looked at that, man. I was like, dang, I, I wish Fifth would have never did it, but you know how Fifth hold them grudges, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hate when people do, I, I I dislike when people bash Dame like that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that, it's going to call for a man, for a man that done so much good and helped so many individuals and people with opportunities and movies and rap and music. It's like, you know what I mean, with the clothing brand, putting people on, all the stories Benny Siegel told about how he went to Dame and got these different deals and stuff done and everybody that, that was signed with them said Dame fought for them to get extra things. I mean, contract-wise and other entities of what they was doing for our business. So it's like, nah, man, we <laughs> we gotta we gotta kind of chill on this Dame thing, man. Dame, why we gotta do Dame dirty like that, man? But yeah, that's my piece on that GMO.